or forward question. Um, when you said everything will change, yeah. I know that everything is already changing every second. Of course, but we are focusing on the idea that sometimes changes are backed by the energy of the mass consensus to such a strong degree that it creates a kind of crossroads in your collective energy. And this is what we are sensing coming up in the fall of 2016, where there is an opportunity and a high degree of probability for many different kinds of things in your society to begin to exhibit real change in certain ways. Some of them will be obvious, some of them will not necessarily be obvious at first, but could be traced back to about that time. So it is a nexus point, it is a crossroads point, and you will see what happens. Would you say that it's connected directly to um, who becomes president, or would you say... That's it's... simply one of the side effects. Okay, um, that makes sense. Uh, would you say that we are... I heard another channel, I want to say Adronis or Andronis, mention that we'd be making a big shift into fourth dimension. Some of us would be making a big shift into fourth dimensional reality during that time. You are already in the fourth dimension. What is meant is that you are shifting into fourth density, oh, fourth density which is I'm a different sorry. idea. Okay, yes. So is that related to the big shift, the yes. big change? Yes. Okay, so there's going to be... It's an acceleration point in your ascension through the process of going from third to fourth density. It's a major point. It's a major threshold. Is there a specific date or it's just a phase? The state of the union. Yes, I can't wait for it. Well, you have to. I do. Well, not really, because it's kind of now. Anyway. It is now, yeah. and if you yeah. feel like you can get into the vibratory state where you can access all the information that will be given at that time, by all means, don't let us stop you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, another question was, I specifically remember, this happened a few times in my life, but I specifically remember driving the car. I was pregnant at the time. Another car comes to sideswipe me. There's a huge cement barrier. I'm on the freeway. Are you going to ask me if you died? No, I know I died. Oh, all right. I already know that. But my question is, well, I think I might know the answer to this too, but why, I, I came back into my body. i got to finish the story for everybody else because I know you know how it ends. All right. But um, kind of blacked out, came back in my body. Yes. I'm on the freeway. There's no cars around me, and that car that had, was going to sideswipe me was way off. I'm like, how am I totally safe and perfect right now? So I know that I left, my body came back, whatever. Yes, this is. But did I do that to prove to myself the quantum physics and everything so I could learn all this? Or did I, why do we choose to just die and come back? Sometimes people, because of the belief systems they've brought up with, will jolt themselves into a new reality very quickly because they know they can. Therefore, they choose what may seem to be relatively expedient rather than having to go through longer processes. So for me, I think of it as like a spiritual growth, learning, oh, cool, now I know that I can just yes. kind of pop in and out. Yes, it so, gives you a different so perspective. that's why it happened. Okay, that makes sense. One that you wouldn't necessarily have had before that experience. Not that you had to do it that way, but you knew you could, so you took advantage of it. Ah, uh, okay. Does that help? That helps, thank you so much. All right, thank you, and please drive carefully. Oh, thank you. <laughs>